To prepare for the vessel assessment, go to the menu bar, select Settings, and then select Ultrasound. As you assess vessels, refer to the following settings. Vessel occupancy, assumed insertion angle, and remaining catheter length. Follow institutional guidelines where available when selecting each setting. Adjust the vessel occupancy value to set the desired maximum vessel occupancy of the catheter based on diameter. For example, according to 2021 INS guidelines, catheters should occupy less than 45% of the diameter of the vessel it inhabits. The Evaluate Vein screen will indicate the maximum gauge size for the selected vessel that complies with the vessel occupancy rule. The assumed insertion angle is used to help determine the remaining catheter length. Adjust this value to set the anticipated insertion angle that is used while placing a device. The remaining catheter length rule is used to determine the minimum catheter length that complies with this rule. For example, according to 2021 INS guidelines, 65% of the catheter length should dwell inside the vessel. Perform a pre-scan to find a candidate vessel. Selection of your candidate vessel should include factors such as vessel compressibility, size, proximity to nerves and arteries, vessel depth, and the pathway of the vessel. Assess for bifurcations of the vein. With the candidate vessel on screen, select the Capture button. Then select the Evaluate Vein button. Adjust the measurement tool to align with the candidate vessel. The tool can be both moved and resized. Align the top center of the tool with the top center of the vessel, and then resize the tool. The screen displays both the maximum catheter size and minimum catheter length that comply with the rules that were set. Vessel diameter is also shown below. The vessel occupancy for various catheters is also shown on the screen. If using Q-needle tracking technology, scan the RFID tag of the selected device. For more information on Q, see additional videos.